What's good? Um, confessional number four. I'm in this bitch. Ready to see. And look, this is a perfect thing to talk about today. Because I've just been recently questioned about my fascination or fixation or whatever y'all want to label it as about this. So, I want to say it's about, it's one of these years, all right? And... We at the crib, it's one of them days where niggas is like, hey, y'all trying to get a bottle? And I'm like, I don't really drink like that. But I, it was around the time period where I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We going to do it. Let's get a bottle. So we get a dumbass bottle of 1800 <laughs> And somebody, like, we downstairs at the table, we drinking and shit. We at the spot. Y'all know the spot. Or if you was there. If you don't know, you won't know. But if you know, you know. And somebody comes up with this game for us to play. So now niggas is getting extremely lit. Because it's like, what I think it's something along the lines as, we got, we got a pair of dice. So I believe it's something along the lines as, you like roll the dice or you draw a card and you pick somebody to, like, take that amount of shots, or you disperse that amount of shots between the group or something like that. It's something dumb as fuck that got niggas lit. So not only is niggas smoking hella woods, backwoods, niggas is taking hella shots at 1,800. And, you know, shorty, I'm, like, fucking at the time is there with us, too. So then later in the night, you know what I'm saying, shit started to start winding down. Like, everybody pulled up that day, though. It was lit. Uh, that nigga Cam was there. Um, bro was there. I wish I could remember his name. I don't want to get it wrong. I think the nigga name was Brian. I fuck with bro. Only met him like three times, but he cool, though. Um, T. Rose was there. Marcus was there. Austin was there. Like, helly people was there. And so, now, this is probably like two and a half hours after niggas started playing the game. I'm through. If anybody knows me after four shots, I'm a different nigga. So now I'm lit. And me and Shorty, we go upstairs. Everybody go upstairs. I think it's like the end of the night. Niggas is trying to go to sleep. So me being a nigga, I am. I'm trying to fuck something. But I don't know. I don't know exactly what was going on. To end, to wrap the story up, because I've been talking for a minute at this point, and y'all want to know what happened. I end up like, trying to eat shorty ass. Not even trying, but I ended up start eating the ass. So, now I'm eating the ass, and I start to feel like, it was like, oh, it's always a little bit warm, but it's kind of sticky, too. You know, like, if you ever, like, eating pancakes, and you get the syrup, like, on your cheeks, or, like, on your lips. So, then I'm over there, I'm just like, I'm drunk. So, it took me a minute to realize, I'm like, yo, I don't know if her ass is as clean as I would like it to be while I'm eating it right now. So now I'm kind of like a little bit disgusted with myself, but I can't really taste nothing bad. So I'm not going to lie, I didn't stop. But I thought I, I I didn't go as crazy as I would have. But I felt a little, I was like, I was a little disgusted with myself. I ain't going to lie. I was disgusted. Because I feel like when I got there, I went like this. And my lips was like a little sticky. <laughs> I'm just being all the way honest with y'all. This is some shit I went through at one of my lowest moments. So ever since then, it's like, yeah, I don't know. And I and I want to say that was one of the two times where I ate ass when it wasn't as clean as clean as I wanted it to be. So as much as I advocate for it, I will I will be honest about the pitfalls of eating ass, and that's my confessional.